If you're watching this video, it means you've ever ridden a one wheel already or you've watched the videos. You imagine yourself speeding through time and space, feeling like a cloud and an eagle combined. You want that feeling. But then you remember, wait a minute, there's four one wheels. Which one do I buy? The Pint is the most affordable, but does it have enough range? Pintax is compact and zippy. What if I want to ride off road? The GT gets 32 miles of range? It's almost too much range. What's the difference between the GT and the GT S series anyways? First, it's important to understand that different people ride one wheels for really different reasons. You have your board sport people, people that want to feel that snowboarding style experience all day, every day. Sometimes they take it a step further and they ride trails. Then you have your commuters who are trying to zoom around their city. It's small, it's light, it's electric. And then finally, you have your folks that are wanting to hang out with their friends, their family, go outside, take a little mental health break. Now, realistically, your board will become some combination of all three of those, but it's important to think about how you foresee yourself using your board most when you're making your decision of which one's right for you. Now, there are a few things that all the boards have in common. All of them are made in our factory in San Jose, California. We test ride every single one before it leaves the factory. They all come with a warranty to make sure that you're protected if anything goes wrong. And we have customer service folks here in Santa Cruz that are working five days a week to make sure that you're well taken care of. Okay, let's start with Pint. Pint is so many riders' first love. It's the perfect gateway vehicle to the one wheel riding experience. Pint goes six to eight miles and goes up to 16 miles per hour, which means that you can take the scenic way to the corner store and crush mini adventures with a big old smile on your face. Pint is also the smallest and lightest one wheel that exists. And so you can pick this thing up, take it with you, store it anywhere. It's super convenient in that regard. Now, Pint is perfect if you're a family looking to spend more time outside, if you're a college kid cruising campus, or if you live in your camper van and you're looking for something to go collect firewood with, Pint is a great choice. All right, so Pint Tasty Notes. It's zippy, it's carvy, it's super fun and playful and maneuverable. It's a joy to ride. Sometimes I wish I could go a little bit faster, but that's where Pine X comes in. All right, well, if you're looking for more speed and more range than Pint, there's Pint X. Pint X has the same compact form factor that Pint does, but it gets almost twice the range, 12 to 18 miles per charge, and it goes two miles per hour faster, up to 18 miles per hour, which is actually a pretty big deal. Now, Pint X, still super compact, pretty lightweight, easy to carry, great for running errands, taking it with you, anything on the go. But don't let that size fool you, Pint X packs a punch. Pint X can absolutely ride off-road, and it just has this nice power to weight ratio. It's a great blend of capability, specs, but also convenience. And for just a couple hundred dollars more than Pint, it really offers you a lot more in terms of range and a little bit of speed. So if you're looking for a lunch break, a skate vehicle, a mid-range commute, or just looking for that 30-minute mental health break, Pint X, Pint X is a great choice. Oh, and uh, this right here, this is a Pint flared back foot pad. It's an accessory you can buy if you're riding a Pint or a Pint X. And if you have bigger feet, but you wanna ride one of these boards, it's a great call. Okay, Pint X Tasty Notes. It's super carvy, it's super maneuverable, lightweight, it's a blast to ride. I think in a lot of ways it might be the most fun board to ride maybe. Um, if you have the extra change to spare, definitely worth the upgrade from the Pint. All right, let's talk about One Wheel GT. So if you're serious about board sports or you wanna go on more serious adventures, One Wheel GT is probably what you need. One Wheel GT is a bigger board, so it's got bigger foot pads, bigger tire, just a bigger footprint. If you're a bigger person um, or you're just looking for a little bit more stability on any sort of long trip, One Wheel GT is a great option. Now, it gets up to 32 miles in range, which is absolutely insane. It means that you can go wherever you want without having any range anxiety whatsoever, which is super nice. And it goes up to 20 miles per hour, which is a perfectly reasonable speed. You're cooking, you're having a great time, you're experiencing that carving sensation. One Wheel GT does weigh in at about 35 pounds. So you can go ahead and cancel your gym membership 
Now, if you live on the fifth floor of your apartment building, you're running a lot of errands, you might want to consider getting a Pint or a Pint X. But all in, if you want to go shred some trails, if you're looking to go on bigger commutes, take on your city, One Wheel GT is a great, great option. Now, it's important to note that you can choose between a slick or treaded tire on your One Wheel GT. So if you want to ride off-road, maybe you consider that treaded. You also can choose to upgrade your One Wheel GT with a performance slick or performance tread tire, which I cannot more highly recommend. GT, for what you're paying, is an amazing piece of kit. Little chunk, little tech. Well, 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 what do we have here, folks? We got the One Wheel GT S Series. What does that mean? One Wheel GT S Series is built on the One Wheel GT platform, but it's the first one wheel that is completely optimized around performance. S Series is lighter. It's two pounds lighter than GT. It's lower, it's five millimeters lower than GT for more control. It's faster, 25 miles an hour, and it's more powerful. S-Series has an entirely new drivetrain. It's an 113 volt drivetrain. And what does that mean? That means it has absolutely mind-blowing high-speed performance, uphill performance. If you're a bigger rider like myself, that difference is just absolutely palpable in all types of scenarios. And that really cannot be overstated. The confidence that it inspires at every situation uh, is profound. Everything about One Wheel GT S Series is factory tuned and upgraded. Uh, it's got premium Japanese bearings. It's got the low boy foot pads. If you love riding one wheels, if you love board sport experiences, that really matters to you. This thing is absolutely worth it. Okay, I forgot my tasting notes for GT, but we'll do GT and S Series tasting notes. Just powerful board sport, carving, gut roll, get you over whatever you need to, just like a shredding machine. Particularly for S-Series, it's unbelievable. And oh, they both have custom shaping 3.0, so you can customize everything about how your board rides on either of them. Ultimately, you can't go wrong. A one wheel is super fun, no matter which one you have. I hope this is helpful, and have a ton of fun out there. All right, see ya. Now, a lot of people wonder, how durable really are they? Built like tanks. <laughs>